Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I'm Gray, and today we have more Rome or Carthage. Yeah, Total War, Rome, Carthage, whatever the fuck it is. Whatever the hell this is. Um. All right. So, first off, I I have to apologize because um. Uh, I I had to restart. Um, the reason being is because when I started, the unit size was large, and I forgot to fucking check that. And I apologize. I prefer smaller unit sizes i uh, like 200 and some people in a unit is, is too much for me i just don't i just don't like it it, it doesn't uh, i don't know i just for me cosmetically it feels better to have smaller smaller groups of men in units and all that good stuff um plus it does help your performance although i've never really noticed a real difference in truth so we're starting over um i apologize i really do um I don't know how I'm gonna do that on the on the LP, but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go figure that out. Um, so yeah, so we're back in turn one. I think we're just gonna do one big ass video and just start from there. And not like I said, I apologize. It's it's really it's really all my fault. And I just I just wasn't paying attention when I first started the campaign, um, and all that good shit. Um, in between, like when I recorded the last episode and this one, um. I was playing my uh, German campaign, my German Confederation campaign, and um, I had much smaller units in that one, and and I enjoyed it a lot more. Um, I just I just really did. So that's that. Um, like I said, I'm sorry to have to. I mean, we were only 19 turns into the game, so there's there's that. You know, so there's there's some positivity there. Um, so yeah, I got a ton of shit building right now. I need to go ahead and get this going. Um, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with our land management um, and all that good stuff. Start economically and then get and get going from there. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm so sorry. I I feel bad making you know making you feel like the like the first four episodes were shit and they mean absolutely nothing. But you know, here we are. Um, oh shit, we have an edict. The hell. Obviously, it's this one. All right, so we'll go with the. Uh, bread and games because we need food and we need happy people so um yeah there's there's that um so yeah we like i said we're gonna start we're gonna start all over hence why we still have lullabyum and all that good stuff like i said i apologize i actually switched the unit size and i believe the unit size on the old ones used to switch like you didn't have to restart and i assumed that wouldn't be a problem but even though I changed the unit size back down to small, which, like I said, is where I like it, it just it just wouldn't. So I mean, like I said, I I prefer it that way. I just it just is that way. So, war declared. Edatani and or actually, I believe the sea would make a hard case on. It. I think I said that before. in Kesatani, but anyway. Um, all right. I really I really don't care about you guys. I really don't at all so we're gonna hold off building actually no no we're gonna build we're gonna build a fish no we're gonna build that we're gonna build that first and we're gonna start upgrading our our places to be and all that shit first because i said so it's pretty much it but anyhow um yeah we'll go with that um yeah so we got a ton of shit building right now, which is good. We're, we're gonna get going. Um. Uh, yeah. Um, I did get pretty far actually in my German Confederation. Actually, I'm calling it the German Confederation. It was actually the Suebi, but eventually we became the German Confederation because we assimilated another tribe into us. So. Um, fuck you, Rome. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, but yeah, no, that was kind of fun. I actually have client states on that one now for like the first time ever. I mentioned that when I, when I started this, uh, this campaign that, um, I never, I wanted to use Carthage cause I've never used Carthage before. And, and yeah, they have uh, client kingdoms to start, which I think is really cool. So, you know, we've got, we've got that going and, um, where the fuck is Libya going? So we're at war obviously already with Rome. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah. 
This is Car Carthage, right? Yeah, we'll go ahead and build that. Ah, oh, shit, what can you build? What can you build? Let's go with that, and I don't have anything to build right now. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um... Oh, uh, well, yeah, we'll just go with the Consecrated Ground. We'll, we'll build that for now in Carlos and go from there. So, yeah, they're still all fucking pissed off over here, aren't they? Jeez. They're all fucking pissed. Anyhow, um, I am gonna try, try to fly through this shit. Because, let's see, what do you, you are... Public order, temple taxes, and all that good shit. Tax. Oops, nope. I didn't really don't want that. I'll change that here. City planning. All right. There we go. I mean, I think we want that because I think we want to move into temple tax and give us some more public order, more global public order for now. Not really worry too much about. Um, not really worry too much about. Uh, about military stuff right now because obviously yeah um rome is gonna attack us at some point but um yeah when they do there we go let's 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 do because i can there we go actually where are they where yeah okay there's some roman fuckers over there i'm gonna move you i'm gonna move where do i want to move you move you over there well, the bottom. See, we don't even have. Yeah, we don't have monies yet to really. We'll probably still have the same um, strategy and just give up on the bottom at some point. Just be like, fuck it. Don't really care. Let them have it. Cause it's not that not that big a deal to me. To to have that place right now. Um, like I said, obviously at some point it's going to be a staging area. What we are interested in is what goes on over here because this is where we want to focus our 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 resources once we once we get going here but anyhow um what is that like three turns into it now like i said i'm gonna try my best to fly through this shit oh shit they're gonna go after uh those guys whatever the fuck they're called i don't remember those those one guys who actually like i said i i, I did play like i said my sparta campaign and rome got fucked Jesus, Rome did not expand. Like I said, like in the old one, like it was semi-historical. Like Rome, pretty much on its own, ended up conquering everybody. I mean, it's just, just it's just the way it was, which is fine. It, it didn't bother me at all. But like in this one, I mean, good God, which one of you gives us? Oh shit, you guys don't have one, huh? Hmm. The Greeks have a uh, have a shrine to Poseidon, which grants us food as well. So we don't have that. Because that's what actually what I was going to go with. I don't know if I addressed that in the last one or not. But that's that's wealth. Let's go with Baal Haman there. And we've got 1,600. What are they called? They're not Florines. That's a... Uh, I think it was a Denari. I think that's what it was in the first one. If I remember right, I think. Okay, shit's slowing down there, so. Um. Hmm. We don't have much for agriculture here. So we'll go with Balhaman. Should we go? Actually, what can we build? Carthage. All right, Carthage can wait because Carthage really doesn't have much going for it down here in terms of building anything. So we're gonna go up here and build another Ball Haman statue and all that good shit. And we'll try. We'll try to hang on to Lilibium. Try as we must. We do not. Oh, we do. Let's say we do not have a general over here, but we do. The walls of Bursa. I really, I really like that. I, I like the idea that they name all this shit and all that good stuff. So, what of it? Shit for brains. 
I love this game. There's shit like that. It's fucking awesome. Anyhow, alright. So we're gonna end our turn here. Um Uh so okay. So our primary strategy here is to kind of uh turtle at first. Um arse. Love it. We're gonna stabilize our our position and all that good shit first before we move out. That's why obviously I'm trying to build up all these places. Like I said, Lullaby, if we lose it, great. I know I'm dumping money into it now and I probably shouldn't. But we are. Um Ooh, ceremonial rites. We're 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 completing shit here. So we're like what, four turns into this game? I'm trying to count, I'm trying to remember right off the top of my head here. Um Yeah, sorry, I'm just fucking losing my train of thought. Alright, so Alright, we have motivated populace. Alright, uh that's not what I clicked on. That's what I want. In Africa, they're all fucking happy and all that shit. Alright, so what we got going on is what shrine should we build here? Ah, uh, fuck. I'm gonna build that shrine. Shrine to tan it. And go from there. Because I think I think that's what we we, we want to vary the shrines up a little bit. I went with I went with the uh, the Balhaman one here to to give us more uh, Punic cultural influence. If that helps at all, hoping it does, hoping it makes a fucking difference. But uh, yeah, we got plenty of food right now. So what I am gonna do is I am gonna do put some green pits here and at at in at mat in at at I bossum. That will provide us with more food and a little bit more wealth. And nice nice little army replenishment, which I think we're gonna want in in this this region. Um for uh obvious reasons. Um because we're gonna go we're gonna wage a lot of war over here and we are gonna need to um raise another army over here at some point. And I believe since we're on like the first leg of our campaign, we have at present the ability to recruit how many wars? By the way, I have it in my time in my time playing the other my other um oh what do you want to call it my other uh campaigns I've actually figured out how to mess with all of this stuff um all of the the political shit and it's it's kind of interesting um yeah I mean it's it's it yeah it's it's interesting. It's it's pretty cool actually. I, I was kind of messing with it and I was able to manipulate it. And it's one of those things that we kind of have to um. Holy shit! We're at Imperium level three already. God damn! How the hell did that happen? Huh. Um. Okay, so. All right then. Um, that's fucking news to me. Yeah. Well, that's that's helpful. Current turn five. Wonderful. That that's uh, that's nice to know. All right. So we're at Imperium level three already. Holy shit. Um. Good lord. <sighs> that's a lot. I feel like I feel like we weren't there quite. Oh, maybe. Ah. Uh. You know what I bet it is? I bet you it's because we're so spread out that we were able to complete the requirements for Imperiums 1 and 2 because most of it's expansion based, early going, like on X amount of territories and shit. Huh. Well, huh. I am gonna s secure promotion for that homeboy. So, um, and have X amount of armies and all that good shit. But anyway, um, fuck. Imperium level 3, holy shit. I thought we were still at Imperium level 1. That, that really surprises me. How the fuck did we get there already? Anyhow, um, in this turn. Because that's, that's how we're going to do this. Hmm, that, that's weird. I mean, I don't think... 
I don't think it has anything to do with like whether it's on easy or anything like that. Yeah, of course we're gonna enter the war on the side of our ally. Are you kidding me? I don't think it has anything to do with it being on easy or anything like that. Like what what difficulty it is on because um it wasn't it like I still had to go through Imperium level one and two with uh with my Suebi campaign and they're both on whatever difficulty it is i don't remember what it is hmm i i think i think it's because what the fuck how are you all troubled making you fuckers happy i think what it is it's it's because we have so much territory i think it's really bothering me if you can't fucking tell it's really irritating me like how in the fuck are we there already hmm Hmm. What's your other thing? Mago. Uh, who the fuck are you? Replace. I like that. I, I, I like that little, uh, that little, uh, little trait. All right. Or household. All right. Trait gain. Uh, Mago. It's you. All right. So I'm going to go. Oh, nope. I want to go to... Fuck. What do I want to go to? Uh, no, it's you, right? There we go. Your household... No. You have no wife. Fucker, get married. Have kids. God damn it. I need, I need bitches for my, for my faction, damn it. Anyhow, um... Alright, so we're building like mad right now. Um... I don't even know why I clicked on I boss him. That, that didn't really do me anything, did it? <laughs> Anyhow, all right. Now we're getting to the point where we just need to chew through some turns and stuff. So let's do that. Let's just eat up some turns and call it good. Rome is still going around, dicking around with stuff over there. It's kind of frightening me that they've got such big armies because we don't have shit. We don't have shit right now so yeah but what we want is nova katharga oh nova katharga you're gonna backdoor them good job you can do that backdoor those little bitches backdoor them good bad omen troubled populace all right what do you want what do you want lady what do you want Hmm. Hey, look at that. I got... Oh, shit. Damn. Wow, that really increased my... Uh, my my influence quite a bit there, didn't it? Didn't it? Other dynasties. So I can't... I cannot... I cannot... Um, adopt any of them fuckers yet. So. So... So we can hold a shit ton of armies. Like I said, it's got to be because of the the size. It's got to be. Because, I mean, I've never started a faction. I've never started a game with a faction this large before. And I didn't really... I don't even remember what it was on the last one. I'll have to go check when I'm done recording this shit. By the way, this is probably going to be another long, long episode. And I apologize for that. Um, I'll try not to make that a, a habit. Um... I'll try. All right, you do public order, you do growth. Let's do a civil settlement. How's that sound? Does that sound? Does that sound good? Temple of Baal Hamon. Oh wait, holy shit! We can build a lot of stuff right now. Um, so yeah. All right, what do we got going on over here? You guys are pretty much done with all your stuff. And you fuckers still aren't happy. Good God. What's it fucking take? Betcha it has a lot to do... Well, no. I, say, I bet you it has a lot to do with the war and shit within the region. But that's not necessarily the case, considering... Considering... We have... Um, hmm, I'll have to build that here soon. Hmm. Hmm, 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 
Anyway, all right. Oh, it's winter. That's probably why. Yeah, winter generally the stuff that the happiness and shit goes down. <sighs> Due to you know like crops and shit or whatever, whatever reason they give you. I I forgot that. So let's go ahead and end this turn and just keep trucking along because we don't really have much else to do. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I did turn all the help and shit off, so I don't have to listen to that shit anymore. Now you have time to joke about my people with your mm. usual lack of wit before death takes you. So we're just gonna piss off all of Rome, pretty much. That worries me a little bit. It really does. Um, it really does. Yeah. Temple tax. Good. So now we've got a little bit more. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I got more judges on my side and shit. What? Holla. That's right. I just fucking used that phrase or whatever. Okay. So we can build more shit here. What do we want to build? What do we want to fucking. We're going to build. A fucking mustard field. That's what we're gonna build. Alright, so you guys are finally getting sorta of happy with me. I am gonna build I'm gonna build another temple over here and use up a shit ton of our monies. Because um Yeah. Because I can, damn it. Um no, because um we want we want to stabilize I the our our, our foothold in Iberia is really what we want and we're close to actually stabilizing a little biome now I mean well you fucking look at that I mean like shit um let's see what else can we build over here uh libraries let's let's go with let's go with the grain market because they're pretty much super fucking happy with us in Africa so I mean we're happy with that we're good with that right um legal institutions mmm mmm yeah okay so how do we want to go about this now Kind of feeling, you know what, I think we're going to go with that. We're going to go with legal institutions and work on that. It's eight turns. It's going to take us a while to get there. Um, Actually, I'm going to go check, see, make sure yeah, we're on turn eight. So we got nine more turns to go. So basically, basically when that's done, that's when I'll end this LP. It's a lot of turns. And once again, I'm sorry for this being such a long video. Um, and it's going to take me absolutely forever and a fucking day to... um. To, to edit and export and all that good shit um but we are going to take a look at okay damn we don't even have we just have Carthaginian Oplites who aren't too bad we need the Libyan Oplites alright so we do want to build more shit so we can build some more exotic units I mean goddamn see yeah we can't even build yeah we can't even build any of this shit yet Jesus, we can get Carthaginian cavalry quick, don't we? God damn. God damn. Alright. So we'll end this turn. And just keep trucking along. Um Yeah, that's gonna suck, actually. We're not even gonna be able to build any armies um until we're done with this episode. And the reason being, um, is because Well, quite honestly, we uh we don't have the technology so so really we're going to be kind of um kind of exposed here so and that frightens me especially with Syracuse building such an army over here um i mean look at that the medusa head wielders head head ugh, i almost said held medusa held wielders head wielders Shit. Um, fuck. What do we want to do about that? Mm. 
All right, so we're going to build another temple to Valhamon here, I think. No, we're not. No, we are not. We need food. So we're going to build a fishing port. That's what we're going to build. And um, Should I do that? Uh, decisions, decisions. Because now, now here's the issue. All right. So we have our general. He is actually, this guy, I think this is, what's his name? Uh, this is Gisco, right? Where the fuck's his name? Uh, right here. Fucking can't even fucking find it. It's right in front of me. This is the guy who um is our faction leader at present. So um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, yeah. And he holds a lot of our sway in the political arena and all that good shit. So we really don't want to sacrifice him right now. However. However, we're going to take a look here. The Maganid, Himmelkar. Yeah, because he's already around. We can't adopt him, though. But we can raise him. It'll make us lose four judges, but honestly, it's pretty easy to get those back. Um, fuck. What region are you? Oops. Nope. 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 That's not what I want. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. No. No. We're just gonna. We're just gonna let that be that. And if we lose Lilibium, we lose Lilibium. Um, the problem is, like, like I said, because because we don't have, because of the region that it's in, and we're not in this region right now. Um, this region is is all on its own i mean this settlement is all on its own this whole region is kind of all tossed together so since we don't have uh, a a muster field or anything like that over here we can't recruit any troops so i'm not gonna put us put a general in there and sack him or um run my finances into the ground hiring a shit ton of mercenaries that'll just eat up my upkeep so we're just gonna plow through this shit right now and just be done with it um, and like I said, and just let him, if, if that happens, which it looks like it's about to, because Rome is on the move, I ex actually expected Syracuse to come over and, and hop into that. Um, yeah, there they are. Um, if they attack, by the way, I, I know I said before, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna to lie. Who are they? Where are you? No, fuck you. Fuck you. You're at war with my allies. God damn it. How's Tingus doing? Is Tingus alright? Hey, looks like they beat back those guys. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good for them. That's what we want. We want someone to have a fucking foothold in there. So, um, alright, we can make more food but not eat up our public order. What are you? You are... All right, shit. We're almost, uh, we're almost hitting a wall here. All right, that's not our territory, so we, we don't have to fucking mess with that. So what we can do is come over here. What do we got going at Carlos? We are gonna, we are gonna, um, we are going to fortify ourselves in Carlos. We're gonna entrench ourselves in Carlos. Like I said. Lillibime's about to get attacked here, so we're going to let that happen. We're, we're okay with that. We can lose that. It's going to hurt our finan uh, finances. Finances. But that's okay. I will, we'll just have to eat that and just and just go with it. Um, it's just the way it is. Because, like I said, we don't have any real way to support it, and they do. So it's, it's almost one of those things where you just kind of have to give it up. And they're going to attack, and I'm just going to auto-resolve. Like I said, I... No, I said last time that I'm not going to auto-resolve um, because I prefer to fight just because it's, it's fun. It's part of the game, right? Um, and that's what I plan on doing. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to let them take that. Um, ooh, shit. Yeah, I forgot I can do that. I'm going to let them auto-resolve and, uh, and and have that. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, go from there. I'm going to let auto-resolve the, um, the naval attacks, the naval battles as well. Because I'm really not interested in those. Um, 
I actually was, I mean, it's, it's a cool feature and don't get me wrong. If you're into that stuff, totally awesome. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd love to see someone actually, you know, like do those. Cause like I said, I'm not very good at them first of all, and I'm not very interested in them at all either. So yeah, I'm just going to fucking auto resolve poor garrison. Yeah. Yep. This is going to make this campaign pretty tough, honestly. I mean, being attacked this early by by Syracuse and and Rome is going to make it's going to make things pretty difficult in all honesty. It really is. And now with our boys over there at Tingus getting attacked by Getulai. It's going to it's going to make a uh, it's going to make shit interesting. Um all right. Covered it. Oh, fame. All right. That's that's cool. I I suppose. Um. What are we got going on here? Oh. We'll adopt him. Wow, our our influence is just exploding here. Holy shit! We started out with only three fucking dots. Now yet five. We are beloved, or admired, sorry. So anyway, all right, so we adopted that guy. Anything to grow your influence. I think that's a wise, wise, wise idea. Um, I think what we should, probably should do. All right, so you, all right. Really don't like really don't like that stuff. All right, so I think what we're going to do here is we are going to raise an army here. Oh. Oh. How fucking cool is that? African war elephants. Should we do it? I think we should do it. Let's fucking do it. A sacred company. Oh, that's so badass sounding. It's like some Lord of the Rings shit right there, right? All right, so anyway, we're going to build some Carthaginian amplites here. All right, that's what I thought. All right. Mostly what we're, what we're trying to do, like I said, we're going to we're gonna make our foothold Carlos. Our foothold in the east, I should say. Obviously, Carthago is going to be important to us. So there's that. Um, I wouldn't suspect Syracuse will hop the channel and try and come after us so soon. I could be wrong, so in that case, I think we are going to have to start fortifying um, a little bit here, um, because yeah, we need we need we need shit to kind of uh, we need to be able to defend ourselves here, and that sucks. We start out with such low, like small armies. It's nice that we're at Imperium level three, but the problem is like everyone's kind of coming after us and shit. You're not, you're not ours. Okay, so. All right. Look at you. Look at you go. Nova Catharago. They might lose Tinga, so. They just might. But that's okay. We're going to end our turn here. Um, We got like five more to go. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I thought Rome was going to start heading that way. Towards um. Towards Carlos, and that 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 worries me a bit, frightens me a bit. Um. All right. See, that's what I thought. I thought Syracuse would kind of up and leave Lillibon. So really, what's going to happen later is we're going to hop on, uh, hop on that little island there and take not only Syracuse, but uh, oh shit, Nova Cartago might be done might be done here oh shit oh shit are you the guy that uh that was just uh i was just had that little thing about there a minute ago i think you were i think you were we're gonna we're gonna yeah we're gonna promote him get him promoted because we can damn it and that's what matters so anyway, all right, so here we are. 
Hey, I don't know if you notice, yeah, our, our, our money is starting to get eaten up here by our, um, by our troops. Hopefully they can hold on at Kartuba. Oh, nope, they're not going to. They are not going to. Oh, they've got some Apatés right there, at least. Boy, they have nothing going on over here, though. Jesus. We might have to think about getting involved over there a lot earlier than I, than I want. Hmm. Anyway, we're still kind of hoping, we're still kind of hoping, still kind of waiting on, um, uh, what do we, what do we have going on over here? Treat. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I like that guy. What of it? Shit for brains? Oh, I love this stuff. I love it. All right, so we do have a ton of. Alplates recruited here in this turn. Um, political entry, you are. Uh... Oh, consequence. That that's what that was. All the shit we did already. Okay, so we've got this guy up here, Sacred Company. All right. Don't know necessarily what. See, yeah, I think I think really he's gonna end up defending this place more than anything. Um. All right. So you get more. You got that shit coming I'm gonna start investing more of our money in oops that's not what I want hello Himmelkar and Maskell eh, doesn't cost anything to fucking bring him out huh all right so we're gonna just continue I think we're gonna continue recruiting units here um I think we'll leave Carthage out in the cold on this one um just because I don't think there's much of a threat. We got a nice, decent garrison there. Um, Kart Hadash has a decent garrison as well. But um, we're interested on moving on. We're interested in moving out of here and and conquering more territories on the Iberian Peninsula. So that's really going to be our focus. So we really want to start working on our armies over there. And quite honestly, I think once we take that guy and move him west. Um, possibly taking over Kartuba. Um we'll have to uh we'll we'll uh not summon but we'll um we'll raise another army from one of those statesmen that'll cost us absolutely nothing and let them go ahead and go nuts there. Um so yeah. I love that this offer of coins mm. See, one thing I don't know is if I'm at peace with them, will they then um, be at peace with the other, the other factions in my um, my other whatever they're called? I believe they do, but I'm not quite sure. And quite honestly, I'm not one to to. Uh, work them harder. All right, let's get some more slaves and make you happy, I guess. I don't know. All right. So, here we are. We have some more food. See, so, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, they're Greek now. The peninsula is Greek. I believe that's Greek, right? I believe that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. I'm pretty sure that's a symbol they use for the, for the Greek faction, or the Greek uh, culture in this game. We have three more turns to go, so we're almost there. And this this long atrocious episode can be over with um so yeah friends of the 104 you know what i kind of want to do i kind of i kind of i love how the clouds go across the screen by the way it really gets in the way and, and obstructs your view sometimes but i fucking love it um yeah See, I don't like that. That worries me. That big ass fucking thing. Big ass banner. The big ass fucking army. That scares me. That scares the fucking hell out of me. The steeds of Apane. Interesting. So you don't have shit. You are most likely done for over there. The thing is, I don't think we can even... How are you guys doing? You're all right. You're still gonna be happy enough. We're gonna move this way and see if we can support them. See if we can get there in time. 
That's all we want is to get there in time. Because really we don't want our client kingdom to get their asses kicked quite yet. We're not up for that. I have had, oh my god, my client kingdom in my, my, my Suebi game was, oh my god, they were just at war with fucking everyone. They got their asses kicked. Bad too. I was like, god guys, stop. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So when I, when I did when I did accept them into my confederation, I kind of went at peace. I was like, okay, well, since you're at war with like six other fucking factions, I was like, let's let's negotiate some peace here so that we're not at you know war with everyone in the fucking game because I was already at war with several other factions. Oh shit, Libya! Fucking yeah, I'm gonna jump in on that. See, this is one thing that sucks. It's like when you have client kingdoms and they get into a bunch of wars, and then, of course, whatever wars you're into at the time, it makes things a little difficult. Um, increased slavery. All right. So, Carlos is on the up and up. That's good. Faction destroyed. Who's destroyed? Oh, the Kesatani. All right. All right, you are, yeah, I was going to say, you're Carlos, aren't you? All right. So, that's where we're at right now. It is fall, and you guys are on the up and up. All right, I just want to be here and support him when they do attack. That's what I want. I don't necessarily want to attack him. Attack those guys, the turds. The Turtatani. Already. Well, we are going to do, like I said, we are going to raise uh, Himmelkar, Masco. Raise an army. We're going to go with elephants just because I've never used elephants before. I think that shit's cool. I'll probably use them terribly and, and, and get them fucking killed. But, hey. It is what it is. Um, and we are working. We are working. Working hard. Working hard. Uh, turning that around we need we need some punic uh we need some some punic culture here in the iberian peninsula otherwise obviously our campaign is going to be long 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 and drawn out because you're betica which is these two so we want to get them we want to get them out of there in all honesty ooh 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 yeah we can levy some more Carthaginian uplites. Which is kind of a cool feature, by the way. Kind of. Alright, friends of the 104. Alright. So yeah, we got a little bit more. A, little, a few more troops here. Um, we should be able to fend them off, I think. Yeah, I think we got them. We can we can handle. Like I said, we'll we'll hang on and support them. And all that good shit. Hopefully nothing crazy fucking happens. Hope nothing crazy happens. I mean, by crazy, I mean they lose control of Kartuba and then, like, they have, like, a full fucking, uh, whatever you want to call it. Full fucking garrison that we have to run away from. Which is likely to happen. But, which, by the way, this game... Alright, like, quite honestly, I, I've, I've played, I think... <sighs> It's my Swaby campaign that I think is on easy. I was just just wanted something to play around with, just something to breeze through, you know. And I was playing this game on easy. This game, surprisingly, and I, I usually play it on like at least normal. I mean, I, normal or like moderate or hard or whatever, you know. Towards the higher end of these games, usually what I play them on because that's just I just do. But I played it on easy, and it actually is a lot of fun because you can do some really cool epic shit. And I know you you lose some of the realism when you do that sort of shit. I get that. I understand. I'm not I'm not you know disagreeing with you. But I mean, when you defend a, a small settlement from like two giant ass banners worth of you know like something like two thousand troops or three thousand troops with like half that, it's just so much fun. Like I said, I did some really epic shit on there, and I was like, holy shit, this is fun. I like this. Because, you know, I mean, I've, I've had some epic defenses and shit like that in my day anyway. You know, I mean, just... Ooh, faltering supplies. Wow, we are getting all sorts of political shit going on right now. Um, pray to the gods. <laughs> it's 
irrigate that shit then, son. I mean, shit. Are you dumb? So Carlos is on our side now. That's really nice. It's really, uh, what's the population like there? What's, it's mostly, mostly Punic. Um, the problem is, I think there, I, I, th I think the Etruscan League is, yeah, Latin. That's what I thought. So you kind of have, we're kind of going to be like butting heads in a way. It really sucks because like, you know, if they're our ally and, and, and I don't think we're ever going to be able to have them as a client kingdom, maybe, but I don't think so since they're a different culture. I don't think so. That's, that's, that's the big word, think. I don't think we'll be able to since they're a different, different culture, but if we can, that'd be great. How's Gadara? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Who the fuck are you? Iberian rebels. See, yeah, it is a rebel army. Yeah, that's what I thought. We should, um... Because you are... Uh, what do you got? Yeah, that shitty fucking cavalry. That's going to eat us. Really not going to be fun. But we need to attack them before they... Yeah, get the fuck out of here, you jackass. Yeah, see, all right. See, what happens is, like, when you have those guys there, they, I think we, you saw this in the last, the last, um, I was going to say in the last campaign, but like one of the last episodes, um, with Lullaby, and what happens is they, they just sit there and recruit a shit ton of units and shit ton of rebels, and then they come after you. So, in order to, to give Nova Cathargo a fighting fucking chance, um, we had to we had to fend them off there. Um, not sure what we want to do about that. I think we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for now and then retreat and then come back over here. And um, once we research some some more some some of our uh, military shit, which is what we're gonna do right after right after the next turn, right after we're done with what we're doing. So um, yeah, there's that. All right. Anyway, um, let's get working on that. I wanna, I wanna make that a thing, and maybe make that a thing when we're done. You give us plus four public order. You give us take away food. You can give me that. Fuck it. Let's just fucking do both of them. Fuck it. I'm just, I'm we'll just do it that way. Anyway, um, I wanna do that because I wanna start trying to convert that population a little bit more to our to our culture. So that's why we're going to do that. Um, invest some money in Carlos. Like I said, that's going to be our foothold, uh, theoretically, in the East. Um, if need be, we will go travel. Oh, where the fuck is Syracuse going? I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. Hopefully they're going, hopefully they're going somewhere else. Cause I'm gonna be pretty pissed if they decide to go down and try and take out some of our, some of our clients here. You know what I really want. All right, see there we go, a bountiful hunt. All right then. We've had a ton of political shit happen. Holy shit, have we had a lot happen in our in our, you know, what 18 turns here. All right, so we're going to move them, move these guys, back this way. The roads in this fucking region suck. We can't travel hardly at all. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. Public order sucks here. Jesus. They may be losing that, they may be losing that territory fucking regardless. But anyhow, all right, so we've got that going on now for us. All right, so uh, what we are going to do is we're, we're going to do this. Um... Recruit agent. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, I can't look at this shit. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go with you. We're gonna go with this fat guy, this fat balding guy. All right. Um. Can we recruit other agents? Nope. We don't have the monies. Oh wow, just barely not enough either. All right, I want a spy over here, so that's why we're that's why we're doing that. Um, we still have um, the spy over here, and I might leave her over there for a while. 
Um, maybe move her down a little bit over here. Like, hide a little bit more. I don't know. Well, whatever. Whatever the hell that's supposed to do, right? Um, let's see. Carlos is going. We got... All right, we got some shit going over here. All right, so I think... Cause, all right, so all right, the plan is from here. Now that we have a spy, we're going to go spy on the Tudertani over here. Figure out what they got going on. Because what we want to do is we want to we wanna take that settlement, either for us or our client kingdom. Reason being um, is because... Uh, we, we, we want that place. We want to get them out of there. We want to stabilize that region. Um, not really happy with where they're going. They are facing that fucking direction. So, I don't know. Like I said, I hope they're not going for our, our fucking... Our, um... Whatever you want to call them. Our, uh... Client kingdom. Because that's going to irritate me. Because it's going to be so far that we're going to have to go to take them. Look at that. Rome is... Rome is starving. That, yeah, the little the little skull thing, the little red skull thing is this means that they're suffering from they're suffering attritional losses, which means if if your armies are doing that within your own territory, that means oh fucking yeah, look at you go now just anchor in Cyrenaica, um, non aggression pact, okay. Your acceptance is welcome, my people. Uh, they're gonna try and backdoor them again. Prepare them for death. But All right. Now, See, this is something too. Like, we're oh, look at you go. Look at you fuckers go. Way to go. Way to fucking go. Our client kingdom kicking ass, taking names. That's okay. So the longer that they kind of keep the 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 other guys busy, the more the more time we have to to set up because that's what we're doing right now we're trying to set up to to start doing shit and obviously like i said i mean we need we need to start taking some some territories and stuff here soon oh my god the kelta oh hmm the Celtiberian federation interesting so we've had a federation form over here so they're no longer they're, well, theoretically, no longer at war with us. Uh, okay, then. That makes things interesting. Didn't see that coming. Um, but anyway, we're, it doesn't really alter our plans much because we're still going to be setting up for this shit because most of these cultures out here aren't really that fond of us. Um, so, anyway. I mean, maybe able to get away with just them. Sitting there, see now these guys. Now these guys are kind of like stranded. Yeah, they are kind of stranded there. Libya is kicking some ass. Let it go, Libya. Look at you. Just went up there and took that shit. It'd be nice to see him go ahead and just move on over to Syracuse and take that too, because that's not a large settlement. They could easily just go up and just snake that shit. Just sneak that shit. Now, see, we could theoretically do the same, but the problem is if they were to counterattack with these guys, that would make things difficult. So, especially since it's such a big, big army. Sabotage, what can we do here? We can poison some wells. Um, what is the uh, garrison like there? Wow. Wow, that's a huge garrison. So Syracuse is not it's not playing around. Um really dog. Wake up. There you go. Quit quit fucking having dreams and snoring over there, dog. Weirdo. Anyway, um still this worries me. Really worries me. But anyway, um we do have shit to be completed next turn and we're finally going to be able to I mean I think we're just gonna kinda keep going here for at least one more turn and I think we're gonna stop right there just to get um our feet under us militarily and then we can actually start building you know useful shit we had a ton look at that a ton of food now look at that of course we can't build any of that 
We need logistics to be completed, which logistics is that. So we're going to end our turn here, and then we're going to start um, building some military buildings so we can kind of get going in that retrospect. And fucking Rome is just moving all around over there. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. Olivia, Olivia, see, and that's something too, like, here's, here's the problem, like, basically what happens is, there we go, yes, go ahead and go back over there, and, oh, look, oh, shit, seriously, if the Etruscan League can take Rome, you see that going on over there, holy shit, now they're just gonna abandon Lillabium, that's good, though, because, what what happens is is they're they're just creating like an unsettled populace up there and giving Syracuse some troubles because of all the war, and that's probably what's happening to to Rome too since they share that region with them. Oh fuck you! Yeah, fuck that guy. I see that shit coming. Uh uh. Groot and falling. All right, fuck you, dude. This is horse shit. The Brethren of Ball. Oh, nice. That's what that, that, that fucking thing is called. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so that's... Whoa. Yeah, we want you there. Yeah, because these fuckers... These fuckers... Are trying to be some real fucking shitheads over here. But that's okay. That gives us... That gives us an opportunity to do this. He's going to come back around. And we're going to start dicking with him. Start dicking hard. Because that's what we do. That's what we do here. This guy is going to start poisoning the shit out of them. I was doing this a lot. And it did suck up a lot of my money. Doing it. But in quite all, in all honesty. Like that's really the only. It's really the only course of action that I had. Yeah we're going to start poisoning some provisions. Because they're going to come in. And if they. And if they besiege us, they're going to suffer attritional losses. So, with them doing that, and then, of course, being poisoned as well, is going to really hurt them. Um, and all that good shit. So, that's what we're looking at here. I think we can probably move him. See, that's something, too. I wish you could move these guys and fucking get them off of, like, I don't know. All right, Libyan Peltists. I'm not a big Peltist fan. I like archers, quite honestly. I mean, Peltists are decent, but I just, I'm not a big fan. I just, I'm just not. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't mean to be rude or anything. It's just, I just, I don't like using them. I just don't like them. They just don't, they just don't work for me very well. Can we? Advanced construction. All right, I need, I need that done. So what we are going to do, though, is, is start working on some more military shit. Um, but we are going to start building more uh yeah upgrade our barracks and shit everywhere so yeah now now we've created a station uh, a region uh i should say libya has created a region of, of a state of unrest over here which is kind of gonna hurt syracuse and stuff a lot and god yeah this is what i was talking about uh, during the last turn fucking the etruscan league if the etruscan league can pull that shit off how awesome will that be they stand a chance. I don't know what, obviously, what their units are comprised of, but they stand a chance. They stand a fucking chance. And that's kind of exciting. That's kind of exciting. All right. So what have we got here? All right. This is all of our, yeah, all of our seed shit. This is all of our, uh, all of that shit. You are. What are you, management? Oh, this is all the boat shit down here. Once again, not a big fan. I usually bypass those. We might go with this right here. Um, yeah, I don't like that one, though. The mercenary one, because I don't use mercenaries at all. But, mm, this is what it is. And it takes a while to get to the areas where you really, you know, where you have some really nice stuff. Tax labor, city planning. What's the other one that we were looking for? We need, um... Monumental architecture, improved poor construction, measuring instruments, no. Advanced construction techniques, no. Water sluicing, no. Formal government, um, that's not what we were looking for. Preferred markets, alright, so, um, 
I don't even know what we're looking for. Is it? No, it's not you. Foreign customs. Hmm. Foreign policy. Cultural assimilation. Hmm. Hmm. I want to look at doing. Look at that. Military mint. Fucking yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, um. I'm going to go with that. Reduce a little bit of our upkeep in a few turns here. That's the idea, anyway. Look at that. We're fucking eating up our fucking food now, too. I mean, we had 25 last turn. Now we're down to uh, all of 10. So, uh, yeah. That's that. All right. So, um, that does it for this long as hell episode. Um, I'm starting to get back into this game all of a sudden. kind of want to keep playing. But anyhow, um... That does it for this episode. Um, you made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Thanks again. Bye.